One of my favorite stock market movies of all time is a movie called Trading Places. It tells the story of an upper class commodities broker and a poor street hustler whose lives cross when they are unwittingly made the subject of an elaborate bet to test how each man will perform when their life circumstances are swapped. In real life, this is exactly what happened when two successful traders decide to conduct an experiment to determine whether a trader can be taught to be successful or whether they are born with a talent. In this video, I'm going to share with you how the experiment fared and how you can learn to make millions with their trading approach. Hey traders, this is Mike Sir here. I've been an active trader for over 21 years and a trader coach for the past 15 years. In my videos, I profile the top traders in the world and teach you how to replicate their incredible success. I've been fortunate to train many successful traders and in this video, I'm gonna talk about this extremely successful group of traders who are referred to as the turtle traders and have gone on to make more than $175 million over a five year time frame. Now there has always been a debate amongst the people in the financial markets on where to find the best traders. Do they fit a certain profile where they have to have an Ivy League degree or do they come from an educated family of financial professionals? Or can they come from less educated or non-financial backgrounds and actually be molded into a successful trader? Well, between 1983 and 1984, two very successful traders, Richard Dennis and William Eckerd, decided to recruit 21 men and two women, a total of 23 people, to conduct an experiment. Richard Dennis was the driver of this experiment and believed wholeheartedly that anyone can be taught to be a successful trader. Richard at that time was already an extremely successful trader, having turned $5,000 into well over $100 million. His friend William Eckerd believed that Dennis had a special gift that allowed him to profit immensely from trading. How the experiment was conducted was they would teach the group how to trade the futures market with specific rules over a two week time period. Now once training was completed, Richard would give each of them a trading account and have them trade the systems that they've been taught to trade. Now during this one month trading period, they were given guidelines on risk management and not allowed to exceed certain position sizes. Now after the trial period ended, he would give the few of them who had successfully traded the system accounts ranging from $250,000 to $2 million of his own money to trade. Richard called his students turtles in reference to the turtle farms he had visited in Singapore and decided that he could grow traders as quickly and efficiently as farm grown turtles. When his experiment ended five years later, his turtles reportedly had earned an aggregate profit of $175 million. Obviously, Richard Dennis had won the bet with his friend William Eckert, and I'll talk more about the exact system that Richard had taught to his millionaire students. The structural foundation of the turtle trading style is based on a scientific method or approach. It involves seven steps. So the first step is define the market. What are the current market conditions? You know, what's going on in the financial markets right now? Step number two, gather information. Do your research to better understand what is going on in the financial markets. Step three, form the thesis. Is there a trade opportunity in the markets? If so, what's the rationale behind it? How can I profit from this opportunity? Step number four, back test and look at past history. Determine whether this opportunity had occurred before. Look at past price history as it could forecast future price movements. Step five, interpret the trade and draw up action plan. See what the risks are in this trade. See what the rewards are generated if this trade doesn't work out and put together an action plan. Step number six, analyze the trade. So analyze the trade and see how it could perform in the current market conditions. And lastly, step number seven, 
place the trade. Also, the turtle traders had to answer five questions that were relevant to finding an optimal trade. Then what's the state of the market? Is the market up? Is the market down? What's the volatility of the market? Is the market um, moving up and down? Is the market very, very stable? Uh, what is the equity being traded? Well, what is it that you're trading? Are you trading uh, the stock? Are you trading the index? Are you trading a commodity? Uh, what is the system or the trading orientation, right? What is the system that you're trading? Is it a trend following system? Is it a sideways market system? Is it when the market is overbought, oversold? And lastly, what is the risk aversion of the trader, right? Is the trader uh, taking very, very high risk? Uh, is it very, very low risk trade? Um, you know, what's the risk to reward ratio? So these are the five questions that the turtle traders ask themselves before finding an uh, optimal trade. Now, most importantly, they have to follow the rules of this trend following system. So let's take a look at what some of these rules are. I've included a few trading rules that the turtle traders follow. Rule number one, focus on price action. Look at prices rather than relying on information from a TV or newspaper or commentators to make your trading decisions. Rule number two, determine your entries, your stop loss and your exits. So plan your exit as you plan your entry. Know when you will take profits and when you will cut losses. Rule number three, manage your risk. Use the average true range to calculate volatility and use this to vary your position size. Take larger positions in less volatile markets and lessen your exposure to the most volatile markets. And lastly, don't ever risk more than 2% of your capital on one single trade. So now let's go over some of the trades that these turtle traders would typically make. The turtle trading system is a trend following system. It's based on finding a trend and continue to stay in that trend until the trend reverses. So for example, you would buy a stock or a futures contract on a price break of a sideways range. And once it broke out to the upside, the trend is now up. You would keep staying in that trade until the trend reverses. So let me show you an example. So here's a chart of the gold commodity in 2020. You can see here on the chart here that the price here is basically going sideways here. So there's no trend, but upon breaking of this range here, it basically keeps going up. So now the trend is up. So what we've done here is we drew some trend lines, extending it out. And then also we had a very, very short term trend line here. So depending on the aggressiveness of the trade, if you're looking for a much more aggressive uh, trend uh, up trade, you basically keep staying in this trade until here, until it breaks this trend line here. Or if you're a little bit more conservative uh, type of uh, trader, then you extend this all the way out and essentially you would be uh, stopped out this trade. So you only exit this trade uh, upon breaking this trend line. So let me give you another example. Here's a chart of crude oil in 2020. You can see here the price basically has been going sideways, okay, until it breaks this sideways trend or consolidation trend in February of 2020. And you can see here the highs that hit here. Every time that it goes higher, it's actually lower than this. So it's making lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, and then finally breaks here and then basically all collapses. So in terms of when to exit this trade, I mean, this big drop here, you can look to exit this trade here upon, especially once it rebounds here. Uh, but in terms of following this trend following system of the Toronto traders, uh, this crude oil short position or this drop um, made traders a lot of money. I'm going to end this video with a few quotes from the turtle traders core principles. So one quote is do not let your emotions fluctuate with the up and down of your capital. So essentially when you're making money, don't be super happy. Don't, when you're losing money, don't be super sad. Uh, essentially the result of your trade that uh, you shouldn't be happy or sad. 
So another quote is, judge yourself not by the outcome, but by your process. So whether you make money on your trade or not, uh, don't look at the fact that just because you lost money on that trade, um, you know, your trade idea or your trade uh, process that you went through um, uh, didn't work. Uh, essentially, you should judge by yourself that you had followed the trade process or the trade criteria to find that specific trade idea. Another quote, know what you're going to do when the market does what it is going to do. So essentially, when you see an opportunity, you know exactly what to do. So when the opportunity comes, you strike fast and know exactly what to take advantage of that opportunity or what that trade's going to be. Another one, know each day what your plan and your contingencies are for the next day. So essentially, uh, when you have a trade plan, know what uh, stock you're trading, know what the markets uh, are doing, uh, know what your entry price is, your stop loss price, your target price, and uh, in case something does happen, uh, what are the contingencies happen, right? What's your backup plan if um, the original trade idea didn't work? And lastly, what can I win and what can I lose? What are the probabilities of either happening? So this is essentially the worst case scenario. So uh, what, what if you win on that trade, what do you do? What do you do when you lose on that trade? And what's the probability of your win happening? Or what's the probability that your trade will lose money? Thanks for watching. If you like this video, there are three things you can do. First is smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the subscribe button to watch more videos like this. And hit the notification button so you'll be notified of future videos where I profile the best traders. Second, if you're looking to learn how you can be the next top trader, please go to my website, mikesur.com, to download my free ebook, Become the Next Millionaire, where I profile a few of my millionaire students. Lastly, if you're looking for a mentor and want to learn directly from me, please go to mikesur.com to apply to work with me.